comes to Paul, based on what you just said there, yeah. I slightly disagree because he purposely read, he knew as a Pharisee, he knew the Old Testament and yeah. he would quote verses from the Old Testament. Yes. Now, there are verses he totally changed. For example, there's been verses in Psalms yes. and in uh, Isaiah, uh -huh. I can give you those, those verses where he literally changes the meanings of both verses from Psalms and Isaiah to Daniel. suit a narrative, Paul, to suit oh, a Paul. narrative which didn't exist when the apostles were preaching to the Jews, not the Gentiles, because okay. as Jesus said, I only came to the lost sheep of Israel. Okay. So if I was to give you the verse in Isaiah as an example, where there is it's clear and a uh, uh, clear verse, and then Paul says, you know what, I'm going to take this verse and I'm going to jig it around, change it to suit a certain narrative. What okay. would you say about that? Okay, I would say that what, what a, a kind of, um, you get it well, now in the, verse, you in, find the scriptures he's talking it's okay. about. I'm just going to discuss something uh, generally with him, Steve, if you don't mind. Nah, if it's all right. You're side, you're not with him. Oh, uh, well, hold on. You're both uh, confused. They're both Well, again, you yet again, you we're got confused. Him and you, yeah, he's yeah. confused. And you've and got, you're confused. You've, you've, you've got your hands something. full. I've ah, got something. You've read and it. it doesn't make sense. To you. Can I explain? No, look, it doesn't make sense. Can I explain a little bit? And it doesn't make sense to him. I don't know how much contact you've got with rabbinic Judaism. But in rabbinic Judaism, you can take the scripture and it's like a starting point for almost a meditation upon the, the deeper meaning of the subject. What Paul is doing, because he's obviously a Pharisee, this rabbinic Judaism comes out of Pharisaism. And this um, treating the scriptures as slightly plastic in that they, you know, they, there's a certain fluidity to them is not abnormal in Jew Jewish thought. So what St. Paul is doing is not out of, out of normal procedure it doesn't mean he's um, doing what we might think, we're, what you might have suggested he's doing, which is being dishonest. Can I, can I he's following a kind of tradition. Can I read the verses? Go on. As in Romans, we don't even, so it's Romans, yes, okay. all Romans, right? Okay. Yes, Romans. Romans 11, 26. And afterwards, can I talk to you about some things? Yes, of course you can. Okay. Yeah. In Romans 11, 26, it yes. says, and so all Israel will be saved. Okay. As it's written, all Israel will be saved yeah. as it's written. Yep. The deliverer, the deliverer will come from Zion. He yes. will come from where? Zion. Zion. Right. And he will remove godliness from Jacob. Yep. So he will come from Zion and he will remove godliness from yep. Jacob. Which yep. basically means people, uh, the Jews are doing wrong and he will come from Zion and he will change their behavior. Okay. Now, when we read... This is, who, who, who mentioned this? Who mentioned this? I haven't got the reference, I'm sorry. I've got, I've got the verse you're looking at, yeah. Romans, yeah. But I haven't got the, uh, the, the Psalm to, or the Isaiah okay. reverse to which Isaiah you refer. 59, 20, okay. Okay. Isaiah 59, 20, 21. Isaiah 59, 20, 21. What? So it says, he's a Catholic, by the way. The, 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 the guy with the big voice sounds yeah, like a, a kind of bear in a forest. Yeah, yeah, he does, he does. Well, yeah. He's a Catholic. He is Catholic. Oh, right. Okay. Well, he's, he's got a voice to match pa Pavarotti. 59, 21. 20, 21. 20, 21. Okay. It says the Redeemer, it says the Redeemer will come to Zion, not from, to yeah. Zion, yeah. to those in Jacob who repent. So they've repented, okay. Jews have repented, yeah. of their sins declares the Lord. So in Isaiah, it clearly tells us that he will go, the deliverer, the Redeemer will go to yeah. Zion. He yeah. doesn't come from Zion, he'll go to yeah. Zion when they have repented. Okay. But in Romans, it yeah. says he will come from. Yeah. And he would change the, 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 the condition of the people, the Jews. So, which one is correct? They, you can't reconcile okay. these verses. All right. At all. You okay. can't reconcile these verses. Firstly. Why? Because one is saying, he would, the, we're assuming the deliverer is Jesus. Because in Isaiah, the Christians say, the Redeemer is Christ. They say that the Redeemer is Christ, which means that basically the Redeemer will come to Zion. He will come to Zion. This is in Isaiah. He will come to Zion to those in Jacob who repent of their sins, declares the Lord. This is an Isaiah. But in Romans, Paul is saying no. Paul is saying and so all Israel will be saved as it's written because he's quoting from Isaiah as it's written the deliverer will come from Zion 
but the other one is it will go to Zion. From okay. and to is okay. totally different. So this is that um, that tradition of the fluidity of, of quotation, which I described. But the question is, does it alter the meaning? Um, now, so the deliverer will come from Zion. He'll banish ungodliness from Jacob. So he's going to come from Zion, and, Z and ungodliness will be banished from Zion, effectively, because Jacob is Zion. I mean, it's this, the Jacob Jews. is Israel, right? Yeah, Zion is Israel and Jacob yes. is Israel. Yes. So these are, this is from Israel, banishing ungodliness Israel, yes. in Israel. But the other one is okay. they've repented already, and he'll only now, come once they've repented. Let me read it as well. Yeah. And he'll come to Zion as redeemed. Well, he's going to come to Zion. This? Oh, this is um, 59, Isaiah 59, okay, okay. 21, okay. 20, 21. And he'll come to Zion as a redeemer. So he's coming to Zion. That's fine because it, he's coming to Jacob in, the, uh, in Paul's quote. And he'll come to those in Jacob who turn from transgression, says the Lord. So they, he'll come to those and they must turn from transgression. In Paul's quotation, he'll banish ungodliness from Jacob. So it's like they've got to turn, but he's going to be coming to banish their ungodliness. Left to their own devices, they will not turn from transgression. But that's different. So, yeah, this is, this, is, this is the point. Remember I said from the outset, there's a tradition in Judaism, Pharisaic Judaism, and we know it in Rabbinic Judaism, you take the text and you um, meditate upon it, find a deeper meaning of it, and in these days, and it's not just here, you get a, a use of the Old Testament which doesn't require you to quote it verbatim. Now, now you can say, as a 21st century man, look, if you're going to quote something, if you say, as it is written, you should quote it verbatim. But their approach to scripture wasn't the same. So their standards of quotation, when they say, as it is written, were different from our standards of quotation. So can we it's just the way the it is. Can we say, today? Today, yeah. No, we mustn't, because our standards of saying, if we say in a, in a book, and it's our book, and we say, it is written, and then we give a quote. We, 21st century people, must never do that. Because our the authority to do that? Because it was known then, just as our standards are what they are today, their standards then were different about quotations. But it's the, the quotation, if it's their similarities, it's no issue. Yeah. This is not similarity. This is totally different. Why do I say oh, totally right. different? Right, OK, well, that's where because we differ then. Go on. Jesus is either going to Zion or he's come from Zion. That's, okay. not, that's the first issue that we have. That's the first issue. The second issue is Jesus will go to the tribe of uh, the Jews when they repent. And the other one is saying they have already repented. So due to them already repenting, he'll go to them. So there are two differences. All right, that, so taking each one then. Remember I said from Zion and Jacob are both Israel. We are so that's the that. nation. Yes. So if he comes from Zion and goes to Jacob, he is at the same time coming from Israel and going to Israel. Yes. Yeah. And so when it says in Isaiah 59, 20, and he will come to Zion, yeah. that's saying he'll come to Israel. So he's coming so from he's, somewhere else. So, ah, but the coming to Israel yeah. in Isaiah yeah. is matched by St. Paul saying he'll come to Jacob. Because Jacob is Israel. So he's coming to Jacob, he's coming to Israel. He's coming to Zion, he's coming to Israel. So in though the quote is not exact for reasons I've given, the actual action of coming to Israel is the same in Matt is, is the same in Paul's quote and in Isaiah's quote. Well there's the coming to Israel, coming to Jacob, coming to Zion, same thing. Now the, the next point though, in Isaiah, they've he'll come and they've repented already. He'll come as, as redeemer to those in Jacob who turn from transgression to those who repent, yes. right? And the other one is saying... And he says, and Paul says, he'll banish ungodliness from Jacob, yeah, right? Exactly, yeah. Now, in Isaiah, yeah. yes, they he must turn from transgression. He's going to come to them and they must turn from transgression. Okay. What Isaiah isn't saying and which Paul says is that he's going to banish ungodliness. So Paul has meditated upon this passage of Isaiah and said he'll banish ungodliness. Now, what is probably the case and I'd, I'd bet the house on this, but I can't uh, be sure I'm going to win the money in a minute, is that there'll be elsewhere in, in Isaiah, or elsewhere in the, in the Old Testament, it's Psalms where, it, where it says he will banish ungodliness. Because often you get, you get New Testament writers who combine writings from different prophets. No, but who gives so it's Paul that authority? Some... Who gives Paul that authority okay. to look at a verse yeah. from Isaiah and yeah. 
within his own imagination or whether he whether yeah. he spoke to God, we don't yeah. know. We have no evidence of it. Okay. 